Hey YouTube, this is uh, me doing a camera setup video. I figured I could help some people out with some advice, maybe uh, some tips I have about uh, how to set it up. Particularly on my helmet, which is a Showy RF 1100, my uh, favorite face shield, the uh, reflective black chrome one. And uh, let me show you uh, what it originally looked like before I made any modifications to it. And uh, now I'll explain a little bit more about what's going on. So I've removed the face shield so I can just talk about the modifications I made a little better. So as you can see in the inset, it didn't have this uh, checkerboard stripe in the middle here. I added that with uh, black reflective tape so it shows black and it matches the patterns during the day, but at night it lights up. Uh, and again, I've added more black fur tape here. I've added some on the front. I've added additional tape on the side. This shows up on the side and here. And then the pattern continues across the top all the way to the back. At the very back, I've added these big stripes and a little bit extra just to get a little more pop and a little more safety at night when I'm riding. So here's my helmet with the uh, reflective uh, tape I added on the front below and above the visor. It still shows through the clear lens. And then I added the pattern to match the pattern on the sides. I did it in the middle, so it's a nice reflective pattern. And then I added stripes on the side. You can see these stripes show up pretty well. And then from the back, you can see a nice pattern there as well. So I continued checkerboard a little bit and add some extra visibility at night. So for the GoPro setup, uh, I put the camera right here in the middle on this mount right in front. I originally had it on the side, and I'll talk a little bit more about it later. But uh, I found the best thing was to put it right here in the middle. And I like it nice and aligned, so I centered it up. After seeing a uh, SpacePods video about how he mounted his camera, it made me think I need to move it. And I uh, made me confident I could move it. And I'll explain why. And I made sure it was just low enough so it doesn't interfere with the air vent here. So that was nice. And uh, let me talk about how it's stuck on there. So as you can see, I uh, mounted it on there. And I was worried that it wouldn't uh, cover across the whole thing because of this sharp angle right here at the front of the helmet. But after uh, seeing SpacePod talk about how you don't need a lot of sticky to have a good, strong mount, I decided to take him at his word and went ahead and put it on there. And it, it seems to hold really well. I'm padded up to uh, fast speeds, and I have no trouble with it. Now you can see how well it uh, sits on there and it also uh, covers really well with the curved mount it's just that little bit sticking out it's not important because there's enough between here and here to hold the uh, camera on more than good enough now as you can see here I've got the uh, GoPro Hero 3 in the uh, waterproof case and uh, in order to use the microphone, you need to uh, drill out a little hole here. I used a GoPro to drill it and widen it out so you can get the little microphone adapter cable to fit in there. So it just goes in like so. I tried to get it close so it's sealed a little bit. Uh, I have ridden in mild, mild sprinkling rain and have no problems with the camera, but I wouldn't suggest it unless you put something else there to help uh, protect it. Or just don't ride in the rain, <laughs> or with your camera at least. So beyond that, uh, in order to mount it on the helmet, I actually mount it upside down. So you might think that's kind of funny. So when you install the camera backwards, <clears throat> one of the neat things about the, uh, the GoPro is you can actually tell it to record upside down. So if you go into the menus, work your way over to the settings, and then into uh, capture settings first setting there up so what you do is go into there change it to the other one now everything's still right side up right but when you exit out of the settings capture settings and exit out of the settings settings just notice that the camera flipped upside down now this shows upside down and you're good to go your camera's going to record everything upside down you don't have to flip it in your software everything works the trick here is uh, 
when you're wearing the helmet, you're wearing it like this. So now notice the camera is still pointing straight forward. It's not uh, looking down at my handlebars, it's just not looking too high at the sky. In order to do that, you can see there's a significant gap here from the helmet. Now it is a little trouble, sometimes you bend forward, it'll touch your jacket. But this provides a nice clean mount, it doesn't interfere with the airflow to the uh, visor vent here. And it's still, I can still get the camera out, change the batteries, I don't have to change the mount. Alright? So it's a nice clean mount location. It's simple because it just uses the J-hook mount, so uh, no complicated things. And I tightened that down pretty strong with a screwdriver because I didn't want it going anywhere uh, easily. Now, as far as the mic side of things, you might be wondering, where is that microphone? So for the microphone, I hope you can see here, I've got it actually taped inside. I got it permanently mounted in the helmet. You know, it's just duct tape, black duct tape. It, you, know, you can see some residue from experiments about other places I uh, tried putting it. But this is a new location. I'm going to put it a little off to the side so it doesn't interfere with my lips or my chin. And uh, with a little fuzzy there, it seems to be hopefully pretty good about wind protection. I'll try it out tomorrow. So as far as the cable, put the chin curtain back in. It feeds out here through this little hole and up to the camera. So I took the camera off. Adapter cable goes in and they connect up. Now I taped the cable you see so it doesn't flop around so much. It's very short but it still uh, can be problematic. I kind of tucked that away a little bit. And that's my writing setup for the camera. Now. Uh, one of the first ways I tried mounting the camera was on the side of the helmet. It's a common mount. I didn't really like the idea of the top mount, so I just went for the side mount. I did it right behind the visor. It's right here. And uh, if I can tilt the helmet a little bit, kind of more like you ride it, you have to tilt the camera down a little bit so it looks more forward, more towards the road. Uh, but the problem here is uh, how do you do a microphone from here? So. You start that little adapter cable uh, coming out here. So, what you have to get is a microphone like this. Long, stringy thing. And I had, I got this off eBay, it was pretty cheap. And uh, what I did is I ran it down here and forward so I could get it underneath the chin curtain and then underneath the pad here and I kind of tucked all the wires underneath here and then the microphone was actually inside the cheek pad as a way to get wind muffling out of the way that's why there's no uh, little muffle on this thing it doesn't need one when it's underneath the chin pad or the cheek pad there and that worked okay and I can show you some videos short clips from videos where I did that mount uh, but I got kind of tired of that mount I didn't like the helmet in the way of the shot and I kind of I think Space Pod's video about talking about his front camera mount got me inspired to try this. And I noticed his is a much more complicated setup. I wanted to make it as simple as possible. Which is why, like I said, I just used the one J-hook for my uh, mount. And uh, I like that setup. Now you can get things like a handlebar mount. I tried that. I didn't really like those videos. And I even tried a tank mount. and. Uh, it was too low, right? It was just staring at the windshield. So I tried putting on an extender and all I got was like vibrating. It was just shaking the whole time when I tried to raise it a little higher. So that got really thinking about even set up like this, it's just a few too many pieces. You tighten them down as hard as you can and it still didn't seem right, you know? So uh, that's why I went to the chin mount. Your head swivels where you're looking everything just seems to work that way so I really like that setup. Now I've tried a couple different microphones. This was a Olympus microphone. It's funny because it has a little stubby but it also has a long extension cable and a nice little tilt feature. So this is kind of good if you put it underneath you can kind of tilt it out of the way when you don't need it and tilt it towards your mouth or something when you want to get a better video feed and I got this sticky on there 
and uh, I don't know what was wrong with that one, but I really like this one here. And this is another like three dollars special off eBay or something. I think you can find them pretty cheap. And uh, I like this little cord. It just made it real simple when it goes to this forward mount. So uh, that's what I suggest. And uh, hope you enjoy this setup.